the game supports the feature natively. Why are you using an external mod for it? Man, why? It's stupid, no way. It's stupid for reals. This is why. So in Silent Hill 2 latest update introduced FSR 3.1 with frame generation. So this is a great opportunity to compare in-game FSR 3.1 with OptiScaler FSR 3.1.1. So leave a like and subscribe. Let's do this. Some people always ask me why I bother to install external mods if the game supports it natively. Let's see. So this is FSR 3.1 without frame generation. 50 plus FPS is really good considering my PC specs. It's playable but not smooth. As soon as I turn on frame generation, it's become unplayable. Even though it shows 80 plus FPS, it feels like 20. I don't know if this is a me only problem, but I tried various GPU drivers as well. No change. If you have the same issue, comment down below. The game running far better without frame generation. So people who ask why I'm doing this, now you can see with your eyes instead of somewhere else. It's like a trend now. For example, The Last of Us got FSR 3 update with frame generation and it was a mess. I made a video about it, you can watch it if you want. Garbage performance with garbage quality, same with Horizon Forbidden West. And external mods always come to save the day. So let's see how the external mod works with Silent Hill 2 latest update. I will put a link in the description for you to download the latest version of OptiScaler with modified files. All you have to do is copy the files to the game folder. I'm not going to show you how to install it. Just watch my previous video about Silent Hill 2. I will link that video somewhere too. After installing the mod, your game may crash once. Just once. After that, all is good. As you can see, the game is smooth, minus status here and there, but it's more than playable. Better than in-game FSR 3.1 implementation. Must say, it has a little bit higher input lag, but it's tolerable. And this may be a me-only problem too. But with the latest NVIDIA update, I couldn't even move my mouse when using the OptiScaler. It was so stuttering. Now I'm using an older version, so the issue is gone. And another thing I found out was that XESS has a better image and less shimmering compared to FSR 3.1.1. It's kind of blurry but you can use sharpen options to counter that issue. So I will play for a bit so you know it will not crash. If it does, make sure to disable any overlay before running the game, even Steam overlay. So that's it. I hope you learned something or nothing from this video. Anyway, until next video, adios amigos. Hey, wait.
Stay back.